guys, so we're here at uh, Rio Goku Station and Jess and I are headed to Disney today! I haven't been to Disney in a long time and I've had my eye on Disney Sea for a while now, so I'm really excited to go and go see um, Fantasy Springs because there is a Tangled <laughs> uh, attraction there and I am so, so excited. So come join us! Honestly, like a seven and a half out of 10. It was what I wanted from a carousel. It was actually pretty fast. It was actually faster than Jasmine flying carpets. The only reason it's not higher, it's a little short and it, it's a carousel. So, but yeah, it was fun. probably my favorite area so far. It is so gorgeous and so colorful and I just love it. It's great. It's full of less thrilling rides but um, we got on the Whirlpool and I'm a huge fan. Seven and a half out of ten. I love it. It's just a little short. The wait was super short though so I can see like getting on it over and over and over again if you really like teacups. A few points off because you can't actually spin the teacup. Oh, you think so? Well, our teacup wouldn't spin, and that was really sad. Anyway, we're going to try to make our way across the park to go to the Tower of Terror next. We have a Disney Premier Access Pass for that. I knew it was going to be a little bit of a wait, so we went and took the money for it. So yeah, 
Now I'm to run across the park and make our time for that. <laughs> Tokyo Disney City is not as scary, but it really wasn't that scary. Like it was, it's got some good drops, and the overall production value is fantastic. Like the little like show and effects that go with it are awesome. So I will give it an eight out of ten, especially because we actually went and got the Disney Premier Access Pass. We jumped like an entire seventy-minute line. We were literally immediately ready to go into the tour and the ride and that was really cool like I actually really liked that. 8 out of 10 but definitely not any higher than that because it was way shorter than I thought it was going to be. Like the majority of it is actually the tour and stuff that comes beforehand kind of like the atmosphere and everything but the actual ride is like maybe a minute maybe two minutes like it is really really short. Like you don't mind spending the money I would jump for the Premier Access Pass if you really want to get on this ride but not spend the money, you're going to have like a pretty long wait. Really? USD rate right now, um, about $9 and change. 
as opposed to what I remember from like the Disney World access passes, which are like $25 per ride and did not feel worth it. Saving my time, saving like an hour of my time is definitely worth less than $10 and I highly recommend that. Just got out of Peter Pan's Neverland Adventure. I really liked it. I think that um, if all of the rides at Fantasy Springs are like that one, I am really impressed. The 3D stuff was fantastic and they did a really good job with like the motion of the coaster and everything like that. Um, I thought it was extremely cute. So I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. We ended up waiting for maybe like not even five minutes. If you have a standby pass for any of the rides here, I don't think it'll be too bad. Unfortunately, we could not get into Rapunzel's Lantern Festival, which I am really sad about because that was part of the reason why I came here in the first place. Um, but now we are going to go and see if we can't go scope out a shop or something and get some Tangled merch. And maybe that'll soothe my ego a little bit. <laughs> Um, we are in the longest line of the day, as my wife pointed out, and it is the line for the Fantasy Springs gift shop. It stretches out of the resort hotel in Fantasy Springs and like into the square in front of it. That was one thing I was not expecting, but you know, I am allowed to be here for like three hours and I am going to sit here and wait the chance to spend my money. We're almost there. Look, we're so close. <laughs> hey, so we're out. I got my Rapunzel ears. Probably gonna come back and actually be in cuter clothes uh, because I also got the cutest little lantern bag that I'm going to be using for the rest of the trip because I'm so excited by this. <laughs> and then of course, because um, we're in Japan, I, I've gotta, gotta get uh, some omiyagi. So I got some fancy springs omiyagi. I think overall this was a way more positive experience uh, for me when it comes to going to a Disney park than it usually is. All the staff is super, super friendly. The lines are extremely short. I would be happy to come back and ride more rides. There is not a whole lot of vegetarian options here. So we are actually departing a little bit early to get ahead of the crowds and also try to get some dinner. As far as I saw, there was one vegetable curry, which Jess had, and then one very expensive pizza. Um, at a like one of the like the richer higher end restaurants here. So if you are truly vegetarian, you are kind of at a loss and if you are vegan, don't even try because they are not really going to cater to you here. Other than that, all the food looks uh, really, really good, but um, I would much prefer to eat somewhere that my wife can eat. So we're headed out. Thank you guys for joining me in this video and I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the next time that I go to Disney. Bye.